So the very top of the pyramid is, of course, my walk with Christ, my relationship with God. Now, if this was a true pyramid, then that would be on the very bottom is the foundation that upholds everything else in my life. But that this isn't really what this is. This is stating that my walk with Christ, my time with the Lord, is the pinnacle of my day. It's the most important part of my day. And as a result, it deserves my best energy, my best vitality. It should have me when I'm at my most creative and most alert. And so it goes at the very top and informs everything else about how I organize my day, my week, my month, my year. So there is a time of day for you and for me when we tend to be at our most creative, alert, aware, engaged. For me, it's about 9.30 in the morning. And so step one is it's incumbent upon me to know when that time of day is by and large. It's not the same every day, but it is the same most days. So I should know myself well enough to know when am I at my best? God deserves my best. My walk with Christ deserves my best. And so step one is just figuring out when that even is for you. Step two is then to figure out, okay, so if I'm at my best at 9.30 in the morning and I'm in math class, or for me, I'm at my office, how do I carve out some time to spend time with the Lord when I'm at my best? And that might not always be possible, but if we're creative and if we spend some time being strategic thinkers and thinking through how can I do that, I bet we can come up with some solutions. Personally, I set an alarm on my computer that goes off at 9.30 every day, and it automatically throws up a couple of passages of scripture for me to kind of read through and pray through every single day. And about four days a week, I'm able to do that even at the office, because that's when I am at my best naturally. So I think step one is to encourage our students to understand their walk with God, their walk with Christ clearly deserves their best, not on Sunday, every single day. And so then how can we come alongside them and help them figure out when that time is and then how to utilize it for the Lord? Of course, it's time in the word, it's time in prayer, it's time in meditation. And so um, we all have the same 24 hours in our day. We want to make sure that as we organize and prioritize the balance in our lives, God is getting our very best. And as a result, he gets the best of our energy and the best of our time and winds up at the very top of the pyramid.